When you wake up at 6 a.m. in Assam, the sun has already been shining for nearly 2 hours. But at the same time in Gujarat, people are still asleep in complete darkness. This strange reality exists because India has only one time zone, Indian Standard Time or IST, which is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of GMT. But why is this the case? Let's start with the basics. India spans almost 30 degrees of longitude from Arunachal Pradesh in the east to Gujarat in the west. Each 15 degrees of longitude usually accounts for a 1 hour difference in time. This means India's easternmost point sees sunrise and sunset almost 2 hours earlier than its westernmost point. Historically, during the British era, there were actually two time zones, Bombay time and Kolkata time, with a difference of about 38 minutes. But after independence, the government decided to adopt a single time zone to promote administrative unity and avoid confusion in railways, communication and business. Thus, IST was fixed based on the 82.5 degree east longitude which passes near Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh, almost the central point of India. But this one size fits all solution comes with challenges. In the northeast, the sun rises as early as 4:30 a.m. in summer, but schools, offices and markets still open according to IST. meaning the daylight is wasted and by evening it gets much dark sooner forcing people to use artificial lighting earlier than necessary this has been linked to lower productivity higher electricity consumption and even road accidents due to reduced visibility in fact the national institute of advanced studies nias once calculated that introducing a second time zone for the northeast could save nearly 2.7 billion units of electricity every year former assam chief minister tarun gogoi had even formally proposed a separate time zone sometimes referred to as chai bagan time or the tea garden time which was actually used informally by tea plantations during the colonial period However, the government has so far resisted this change. The concern is mainly logistical. Multiple time zones can lead to confusion, especially in a country with high railway traffic, digital transactions, and nationwide broadcasting. In a country where millions depend on train schedules, even a small miscalculation can lead to accidents or operational chaos. But before we decide if India should adopt more time zones, let's look at how the rest of the world manages this. The United States, which is smaller than India in terms of east-west span, uses six time zones: Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific, Alaska, and Hawaii Aleutian. Russia, the world's largest country in the world, has 11 time zones stretching across two continents. China, interestingly, is almost as wide as the continental US, but it uses just one official time zone, which is the Beijing time. This means in far western Xinjiang sunrise can be as late as 10 a.m. The European Union despite being a union of multiple countries uses three major time zones western central and eastern european time. So India is not unique several countries have made the same choice for political and administrative cohesion. But we cannot ignore that our geography does create real challenges for millions of citizens in the east. Perhaps The future solution lies not just in adding a second time zone but in flexible work and school timings that make better use of natural light. The debate continues as India grows economically and digitally. This issue might resurface in parliament. For UPSC aspirants, this topic is more than just trivia. It touches upon geography for longitudes and time calculation, economy for energy savings, governance for administrative convenience. and even social issues for productivity and lifestyle it's a perfect example of how geography and public policy intersect in everyday life